Welcome to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia 2020 Youth of the Year event, Gone Virtual. Sponsored by Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. We are your MCs this evening, and my name is Kevin Will, and I'm the President and CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia. Hi everyone, and I'm Adriana Rivera, the Chief Development Officer for Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia. As you can see from our social distancing today, <laughs> at least six feet apart, uh, this year's event is going to be a bit of a different format, but promises to hold the same amount of excitement as our traditional event. Tonight's event will, be, will feature an ongoing stream of videos, and uh, they'll be uh, featured on our event front page. You can click off the video stream for links at the top of the page to meet each youth of the year, learn about our sponsors, attend the auction, and so much more. Click around to see what's featured. Also included on our auction page is our Fund a Need, sponsored by Zone. The Fund a Need is an opportunity for community supporters to donate directly to our organization's needs. Zone is our Be Somebody's Rock sponsor for this evening's event, and that is Steve for tonight's Fund a Need. Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia is a vital asset to our community, and especially now, we need your support. Speaking of the fund in need, we have an exciting announcement. We would like to say a special thank you to Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group. They are tonight's fund in need matching gift sponsor. They will match up to $25,000 of donations made through our fund in need. <laughs> that gives us a goal of raising a total of $50,000 through our fund in need alone. $50,000 would make a great impact on our clubs and the youth here in Hampton Roads. We can work together to make this happen. You can return to the stream of videos on the front page at any time. Returning to the home page for a live announcement at 7.45 p.m. for our 2020 Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia Youth of the Year winner. Should you need any technical support during this time, please visit the link at the top of the screen, How Online Bidding Works. For further assistance, please contact our resource development coordinator, Rebecca, at 757-228-5654. Let's take a moment now to thank tonight's sponsors. Without you, this event and our mission would not be possible. All of our sponsors tonight are listed on the sponsor link at the top of the page. Click there to learn about these companies and all of our tremendous sponsors. We will now turn over to a special announcement from tonight's title sponsor, Dollar Tree Family Dollar, followed by a look at our clubs. On with the show. Hello, my name is Irfan Badibanga, Senior Vice President of Operations for Family Dollar. Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are honored to sponsor the 2020 Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Virginia Virtual Youth of the Year program. In such a challenging year, it is important to recognize and celebrate the young men and women who are nominated for this distinguished award. Dollar Tree and Family Dollar believe it is critical to support all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. Boys and Girls Clubs of America has been Family Dollar's national charity partner since 2014. Our company continues to support BGCA's mission through fundraising efforts driven by customers, associates, and vendor partners in the Back to School Calls campaign, vendor partner campaigns, and company donations. In addition, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar Associates have donated to local clubs through past initiatives for school supply donations and a coat drive. For the past couple of years, Family Dollar and BGCA have matched clubs around the country to a neighborhood Family Dollar store that is hosting a grand opening or grand reopening where each club receives a donation. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this celebration. Family Dollar and Dollar Tree are proud supporters and partners of BGCA, particularly here in our home region. We wish all the nominees the best of luck in their future endeavors. My name is Bryce and I am a member of the Rose Bar Boys and Girls Club. My name is Kinsey. I'm a member of the Rosemont Youth. 
My name is Diana and I'm from the Rosemont Boys and Girls Club. This is the education room. This room is where we work on reading, math, and other subjects while playing for games. The education room is like school, but way better. This is the computer lab. Cox donated computers so we can use them to have fun and do online homework assignments because some kids don't have resources at home. In this room, we learn internet safety while having fun. This is Kids Cafe. This is where we get a hot meal and a milk every day. The art room may be the most creative room in the Boys and Girls Club taught by Miss Lucy. We do everything from drawings to paintings and even glass blowing. The program room is where we do most of the Boys and Girls Club's programs such as STEM, Money Matters, Flight Dresses, and many more. The gym is where we do physical activities. We play games like basketball, dodgeball, soccer, and many more. The games room is where we play creative games, such as do the bacon, grapes, and force side is where teens can relax. They have a lounge, a studio, and games to play on. Also, they have a pool table. Welcome back, and thank you again to Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. We are thankful to have a strong national and local partnership. We hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of our club. This year, like so many, our organization was deeply affected by COVID-19. Boys and girls clubs across the country are responding to the needs of young people and their families during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a part of that response, Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia's Rosemont Club was one of the first to open its doors for essential personnel in the state. We did this on Monday, April 27, 2020, and we haven't looked back. We really adhere to strict code of uh, what the CDC uh, and the Virginia Department of Health requires of us to operate in a safe and healthy environment for not only our children, but for our staff. Our Rosemont Club, joined by our Franklin Club, was able to open to a limited number of club members during the summer. In addition, our Eastern Shore Club implemented a feeding program for our club members on the Eastern Shore. Now, with the start of school upon us all, we are working diligently to open more of our doors. Though we will still be unable to open all of our doors, we are working on a limited capacity. We are so thankful that we can offer our support to the community. If you would like to learn more about what we're doing and enrollment, please visit our website at www.bgcseva.org. We're going to take a moment to remind you that we have an auction taking place right on our website. Please take some time to click on the auction link where you will find some exciting and unique auction items this year. Just as a reminder, tonight's goal is to raise $50,000 through our fund and aid. Special thank you to Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group for matching up to $25,000 in donations through the Fund and Need. Donations can be made directly through the auction link by clicking on the Fund and Need box that you would like to support. Now, more than ever, the community needs us and we need you. If you need assistance on bidding, please visit the link at the top of the screen, How Online Bidding Works. Thanks. Now it's time to meet two of our 2020 Use of the Year. Jamira and Desiree. But first, a word from our 2020 Youth of the Year uh, Chair, Paul Hawley. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage 2020 Youth of the Year Chair, Paul Hawley. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. 
Good evening. My name is Paul Holly, and I'm with Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Virginia's 2020 Youth of the Year event chair. On behalf of the Board of Directors Committee and Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Virginia, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Established in 1947, the Youth of the Year is premier recognition program for Boys and Girls Club of America. This national competition is designed to promote and recognize a team member's service to the club and community, academic performance, and contributions to the family and spiritual life. Competitions begin at the local level. Individual clubs select a Youth of the Year from the club members ages 14 to 18, and they in turn compete for the title of Youth of the Year Boys and Girl Club of the Southeast. The winner receives a $2,500 scholarship from the Lewis D. Herschel Scholarship Fund and then advances to the statewide competition. The competition then continues on the regional and national with winners receiving scholarships along the way. Let's give a big congratulations to tonight's Youth of the Year. They are truly remarkable and we are honored to hear from them tonight. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bruce Crooks, and I'm the Vice President of Cox Communications Customer Care. Cox has been involved with the Boys and Girls Club for many years, and currently I'm on the Executive Committee with the Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Virginia Region. I'm proud to introduce Jamira Alston, Boys and Girls Club of Southeast Virginia's 2020 Chesapeake Youth of the Year. A Truett Club member for seven years and a junior at Oscar Smith High School, Jamira credits the club for helping her to achieve goals, obtain new skills, and becoming a more confident young woman. After high school, she plans to attend college and pursue a career in the mental health field. Congratulations, Jamira. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jamira Austin. I'm 16 years old. I'm a junior at Austin Smith High School, and I've been a member at the Boys and Girls Club for seven years now. Before coming to the club back in second grade, I started experiencing anxiety, constant mood swings, and major behavioral problems that landed me in trouble at home and school. My mom didn't know what to do, so she decided to take me to a therapist. During my first therapy session, we discussed the sudden shifts in my actions. Then I was diagnosed with autism along with bipolar disorder, ADHD, emotional and behavioral disorder. Finding out that I had disabilities felt very heartbreaking and very upsetting to the point that I didn't want to be around anyone at home or school for a while. At the age of 10, things started getting out of control, so my mom called the police and I was escorted to the hospital in restraints at 11.30 at night. During intake at the hospital, I was still feeling hurt, scared, and alone. I mean, angry about staying away from home. So I destroyed the intake room. I refused to go in unit, and I used profanity versus the workers. Eventually, I, w I received a mood stabilization shot, and I was carried to the seclusion room. In between being hospitalized, and attending the club, I've gained coping skills. I've learned to control my behavior, my behaviors, and I've learned to maintain my behavioral goals. The club, the club staff has always helped me whenever I was feeling trouble or overwhelmed. Whenever I was having a bad day, I would go to Miss Katina because she would always give me advice on how to turn my bad day into a good day. The club has introduced me to programs like Smart Girls, Torch Club, and Keystone. All in all, the club has changed my life for the better. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you tonight. My name is Jamara Austin. I'm 16 years old and I'm representing True Boys and Girls Club. Thank you. Meet Boys and Girls Club of Southeastern Virginia's 2020 Eastern Shore Youth of the Year, Desiree Kellum. An Eastern Shore Club member for seven years and current junior at Northampton High School, Desiree aims to lead and inspire younger children at the club and plans on pursuing her dream of becoming a certified accountant after high school. 
Failure should be our teacher, not our undertaker. Failure is delay, not defeat. Failure is a temporary detour, not a dead end. Failure is something we can avoid by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. By the great Dennis Waitley. Greetings. My speech today will be mainly focused on answering three questions. I'll begin by answering question one. Who am I? My name is Desiree Kellum and I am 16 years old. I am a junior at Northampton High School. I am an honorable student because I understand the importance of having good grades. I'll describe myself as compassionate, hardworking, determined, an advocate, and an ambassador. I'm compassionate because I'm caring and love helping others. I'm hardworking because I put forth my best work ethic in everything that I do. I'm determined because I will let nothing prevent me from reaching my goals. I am an advocate and an ambassador because I represent the youth and want to elevate my generation by using my voice to defend and educate the youth to make achievable goals and don't stop pushing until you have reached them. That is who I am. Question two, what has been my experience at the Boys and Girls Club? I have been attending my Boys and Girls Club for nearly eight years. I started going to the club because I have two full-time working parents and staying at home alone was not an option for me due to my mischievous behavior. My first few years at the club were a bit rocky. Oftentimes, I will find myself continuing with my poor decision-making, such as being disrespectful, disobedient, and defiant towards the staff. It was because of the constant reminder by my club staff that my behavior would determine my altitude that I realized the path that I was traveling would only lead to a road of destruction. Then suddenly, something changed for me. The club had become my home away from home. And to me, home is a feeling of belonging more than just brick and structure. My Boys and Girls Club has been my light on my darkest days and a helping hand in my time of need. Vividly, I remember my club director, Ms. Kathy Custis, stepping in and being the mother figure that I needed due to the absence of my mother. Ms. Custis is a very special person in my life. She has been there for me when my mother was unable to be there for me. This has meant the world to me. It has helped me stay focused and determined to reach my goals. I've learned from this experience that when life throws you curveballs, you're ultimately left with two choices. You can either let it consume you or let it motivate you. I decided with the help of my family and wonderful member, mentor, Ms. Kathy Custis, to let this situation motivate me. The last question I would like to answer is what has the Boys and Girls Club taught me? The Boys and Girls Club mission statement is to enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. With the help of my caring, professional, and hardworking staff, I've learned that the latest, having the latest cell phone, sneakers, and clothes is not important. And that if I fail, F-A-I-L means first attempt in learning. And that the end is not the end. In fact, E-N-D means effort never dies. And if I get no for answer, N-O means next opportunity. I'm constantly reminded of a quote by Aug Mandino. Failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. There's, this on there's only this two-letter word that stops the impossible from becoming possible. Me. Thank you for considering me for the role of Youth of the Year. I am appreciative and humble for this opportunity. Thank you to all of our supporters who are joining us this evening. Reminder, you can click off tonight's video stream to learn more about our Youth of the Year sponsors and participate in our auction and fund -a -D. Links can be found at the top of the page. The auction and fund -a -D will close tonight at 7.45 p.m. Please help us in reaching our goal of raising $50,000. Our fun and need this evening is sponsored by our Be Someone's Rock sponsor, Zone. And remember, tonight, Atlantic Bay Mortgage Group will be matching the fund and need up to $25,000. So remember, every dollar counts. Let's continue on with tonight's program. First, I'd like to thank our VIP reception sponsor, Priority Toyota Charity Ball. Also, we would like to take a moment to hear from our leader, our board president, Rob Proadan as well as to take a look at some videos from our heroes, our organization's club directors. Good evening. I'm Rob Prodan, board president for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia, and I would like to welcome you to our 2020 Youth of the Year event, Gone Virtual, sponsored by Dollar Tree Family Dollar. Last year, we celebrated our 100th anniversary of serving the Hampton Roads community. And despite an interesting year, we haven't slowed down. Our mission as a youth development organization is to enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible members of our community. Our team of professionals works to inspire, lead, mentor, 
and provide a caring and safe environment for all of our club members. Our clubs provide programming each weekday during the school year and throughout the summer, and our team works with our club members through innovative, quality programs designed to empower them to excel in school and lead healthy and productive lives. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I would like to thank the staff of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia for their tireless dedication to our youth and our club's mission. I would also like to thank all of our supporters because it is your dedication to our clubs that enables us to ensure that great futures really do start here. Thank you and please enjoy the program. Hey, I'm Katina from the Truett Unit. One of the main reasons why I started working at the Boys and Girls Club is because of the mission. The mission is to enable all young people, especially those that need us the most, and that's what caught me. Um, the kids that I work with definitely need me. That's why I come to work every day, no matter what's going on. Um, I feel like when I come to work and I'm able to change a child's life, that's everything to me. The teens that I work with, the little kids that I work with, the families that I work with, the neighborhood that I work in, those kids need us in that area, so that's why I come to work. Boys and Girls Club is about changing lives, and I'm about changing lives as well. Hey, this is Ms. Nay from the Tidewater Park Club. I come to tell you how much the club means to me. First off, the club made me who I am today. Every time I decided to leave the club, I always found myself in trouble, so I just decided to stay, even as adults. That's why I'm a club director now. Um, it also taught me to be my own person and always to love myself no matter what. Hey, my name is Keith Robinson. I'm the club director out in Suffolk. Uh, one thing I love about Boys and Girls Club is the fact that they allow me to be myself. Whether that's being good at sports, basketball, football, being good at video games, which I really do love video games, or just being goofy and being myself. The club has always given me the opportunity to be myself and love myself as myself. And I encourage everybody around me to do the exact same thing. And that's why I love working for Boys and Girls Club. Hi, my name is Debbie McGahee. I'm the director at the Rosemont Unit. Growing up, I had the opportunity to attend the Boys and Girls Club where I learned to swim, where I had the opportunity to meet new friends. I learned how to sew, and I also learned a sport, which I love, which is softball. Working at the club now, we do that same thing. We try to give kids opportunities, opportunity to be a leader, opportunity to be an entrepreneur, opportunity to play a sport that they didn't even think that they could play the opportunity to grow, but most of all, the opportunity to have fun. And that's part of our mission, is to make our kids productive, responsible, and caring citizens. And that is one of the, one of the main reasons why I love my Boys and Girls Club. Hi, I'm Raymond Copeland, former club kid, previous Portsmouth Club Director, and now Teen Services Director. I often wonder and ask myself, where would I be without the Boys and Girls Club? You know, that question is mind-boggling because my home was ruined as a child, family torn into pieces when the glue of our family passed away. My Boys and Girls Club was that light in that dark place. Dark place in my life, dark tunnel, but my Boys and Girls Club was there. Um, it is my passion. One guy told me, never get a job. Get something that you love to do, that you'll do it for free. And I found my passion right here at the Boys and Girls Club. The model is very true. Great futures does start here. The Boys and Girls Club has been my rock, my shoulder to lean and cry on. And again, where would I be without the Boys and Girls Club? Since the age of 16 and now, the Boys and Girls Club, those hands have been a part of my life. And I'm proud to say I found my passion right here at my Boys and Girls Club. Hi, I'm Miss Sue, club director for Norfolk. What does the Boys and Girls Club mean to me? Um, I have to say that that's a loaded question because there's a lot of things that I value about Boys and Girls Club. My daughters came up in the club. They have gone on to be unit directors. Uh, most importantly, I would have to say, though, that it's the family image that we have. Um, it's like the kids are 
the seedlings that have been planted, we watch them flourish. And while they're in, their, in our care, they're safe, they're having fun. And while their parents are at work, they have the confidence and trust in the staff here to know that while they're providing for their families, we are providing for their children. Hi, my name is Ms. Custis and I'm from the Eastern Shore Unit. Wow, what does the club mean to me? The club is a home away for home for a lot of my kids. We live in such a rural area that a lot of our parents work and the club is a home for the kids. Uh, we feed them, we do academic work with them. Um, when I was growing up, I was injured and um, one of my teachers there helped me a lot and I was told that I would never succeed. And that's what a lot of our kids are told, that they're never gonna amount to anything, that they're never gonna do anything. And to be given that accomplishment back to those kids, say, hey, you can achieve, we're here for you, means a whole lot. And that's sometimes, that's the only thing that the kids need to know, that they're loved, that they have a safe haven, and that we're there for them. That's what my clubs means to me, it's being a home for my kids. And on behalf of Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia, thank you so much to our club directors. It's because of you that our kids have a safe, fun place that they can come to every day after school and during the summer. And just remember, it's because of you that great futures start here. And a special thank you to our club directors and staff. You are truly remarkable. You are the heart and soul of everything our organization stands for. Your dedication, passion, and professionalism is truly the shining star of our organization. And we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Last year, Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia celebrated our 100th anniversary. And we provided our resources to the Hampton Roads community ever since. We have grown to serving over 2,000 youth in grades K through 12 across our seven cities, Chesapeake, Suffolk, Franklin, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Portsmouth, and Exmoor on the Eastern Shore. We are dedicated to ensuring that the children and teens in our community have greater access to quality programs, increased opportunities, and experiences that will enhance and shape their lives and their futures. We are so proud of all Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeast Virginia has accomplished over the past hundred years. We would now like to take some time to celebrate a man who has been with our clubs for over 70 years. Our 2020 Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. William Wright. 